Welcome back. Today, I received something very special I want to share with you and give my initial thoughts on. It's the TR5 Tactical Response Auto by Protec. This is basically the same design as the TR4, but in a more compact EDC format. The unique part about this tactical is its rose gold finish blade and hardware. And I must say, she's pretty. Coming in at 7.625 inches total, the TR5's blade is 3.25 inches of flat grind, drop point style, S35VN. Right handed and of course tip up only, it weighs in at 3.4 ounces with an anodized aluminum handle and two tone backspacer with lanyard hole. Now that we have all that technical mumbo jumbo out of the way, we can get to my initial thoughts. First, shame on you Blade HQ. The pictures on site did the TR5 no favors. Not one little bit. And for that matter, I don't know if my camera is either. So I'm not going to throw BHQ under the blade too much. The lockup tolerances on this knife are unreal. At least from my amateur opinion. This is a very slick design with no jimping on the spine of the blade, but rather some subtle underside jimping along the pinky grip, enabling the user to pierce bone when in those choked up holes. At my first glance, I thought, hmm, seems a bit porky, a little bit on the tubby side, which to me it should be, being second to the heaviest out of all my knives. Honestly, the TR5 is not heavy at all, especially considering what it's made of. And, of course, we must speak on the action. Oh, that action. And she definitely kicks, oof, like a foot to an ass. All about that kicking. Every knife review says that. I mean, I need perspective. Well, my favorite auto, actually previously, the TR5 currently owns that spot. The Launch 3 by Kershaw is the closest automatic snap to this Protect that I have personally felt. And not even really close. Maybe same chapter, but not same page. Definitely not same paragraph. The Protect's deployment is much smoother with more of a solid lockup action. The Launch 3 is hella powerful, but me and that Protec, we just love kicking it all day. No reason at all, just kicking. I admit, the TR5 has the best kick, punch, karate chop, or whatever floats your turds. It's definitely a forceful and racy deployment. The one complaint I've heard going around is about the safety. Why is there a safety? It's not needed. It's too grippy and rough. It's about as awkward as a blind black man in a clan meeting. Who said that? You gonna see my face? Clayton, go on, brother. You gonna see my face? <laughs> Come on, people. Is it that bad? Disengage the damn thing and put some Gorilla Tape over it. I mean, for real. I actually appreciate it and it's buttery smooth action. Joking aside, my first auto was a Boker Strike Plus. And if anyone here has owned a Striker Auto, they know about the safety switch from hell. The Blister Bliss button. Sure to do your thumb like ice cubes, no Vaseline. Damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard, now you just went soft. Left raw and uncut. This is not sponsored by Johnson & Johnson. And speaking of Vaseline, the TR5 comes with a whole bottle of 3-in-1 oil. Well, yeah, just without the bottle. Literally, this knife was sloshed and drenched in oils, practically drowning. No wonder people say they jump right out of your hand the first time you use them. It's just ridiculous. I mean, greasy as juvenile in that first video. Just Crisco oily. Ugh. But in a Birdman-esque fashion, a quick hand rub and everything will be okay. The TR5 is an amazing EDC knife and definitely the best automatic I've owned. Comment, rate, and subscribe.